So hello and welcome to another one of my bit of a gadgets, bit of a, uh, a giveaway, a bit of a present buying sort of items. Um, as you know, I do a lot with Sunway Photo, I've done for the last few years. Um, my first tripod they ever sent me was the T3650. Um, I've now got three larger tripods and I've got some baby tripods and heads as well. Um, this was my first tripod they sent me, very, very well made, uh, all with water seals and dust seals so you don't get any rubbish and crap inside the actual tripod itself. Um, I bought all these grips that are on all these tripods separately, uh, so I've got one on each, you get a pack of three. This has the built-in leveling base so you can actually level your tripod off and get it all nice and centre if that's what you want on there or you can have the standard head fitted. Um, this is a very tall tripod, it's five sections and it goes up a long way there's a little bit of weight to it but with it being carbon fiber it's not as heavy as what it looks um, it's quite a nice tripod there's no actual head attached to it at the moment because i've got it on one of these two tripods i was waiting for this one to turn up this is the gh pro 2 um, this will be going on top of that tripod it's only just recently turned up um, so that i can add it to that uh, back to that tripod um, like i say i did steal one to fit on the other tripod so that's my big main tripod i've had that a few years there's no corrosion on any of the screws whatsoever you can see these little attachments i've got as well these are what i have uh, for put, putting my vlogging camera on when I'm making my landscape videos. Um, so yeah, there's no corrosion on anything. This is corroded, this one's starting to corrode. So I'm, I'm really impressed with the quality of the screws and the fittings on these because there's no, there's no marks on them whatsoever at the moment. And this really has been through, you know, some free, you know, through the sea, the sand, the salt and everything. Uh, this is my second tripod, as you can see on the top of it, I have a GH Pro 2. So I've got one on each of these cameras because that's the actual head I like to use at the moment. And I was showing you a couple of heads as well down here afterwards, uh, but this is the uh, T324 Four OCM. This is the carbon fiber. Uh, this is part of their Explorer section. Um, and again, it's the same size tripod as the other one. Uh, very, very similar in height um, as they're folded down. This one's a four section, this one's a five section. So obviously you lose one of those pieces of height when you put it up, but it is with the geared head on, it's quite a tall head. Uh, I've also got a leveling base attached to this because this one's got one built in. Um, so I've had to attach a leveling base to this, but it's actually quite a tall tripod when it's all up and it's, um, you know, and you, and you want to spread the legs out wide. It's still quite, it's, it's definitely head height, whereas this one goes well above my head and I'm five foot eight. This is the latest version to the the uh, clan, so we've got, we've got daddy, mummy, and uh, little sister or brother. Uh, this one is the T24, T, sorry, it's a T284CO, 4OCO. This is the carbon fiber one again, exactly the same as all the others with a twist grip, all sealed and watertight and water sealed and everything. Even the feet have rubber rings on them as well. These aren't the standard feet. These are actually aluminium feet that I have on all three of these tripods that I've actually bought and paid for myself um, because I just like them. Uh, again, I've got the attachments on the side. All these have little attachment areas. So you've got screws around the water side. So I've got a, a hook attached to this one on the leg. I've got a hook attached to this one on the side, a hook on here so I can actually clip my filters and stuff to it. And then I've got the attachment for my vlogging cameras on the side of all of three of them. So they've all got the quarter inch thread on the side, which is a brilliant, brilliant idea. The difference with this one is it's not as high. This one is not as tall because it's a three section. It's a little bit lower than the others. You can see when I actually stand it down, it's actually a little bit lower than the others. So it's not quite as tall, but the difference with this one, and this comes in a different section is this one has a center column. So you can take the center column and raise it right up. That means it brings it above my head height. You can also take the center column out, flip it around and put it underneath. So if you want to work down really, really low, that's the way to do it. You just have to work down really, really low. I've not got a leveling head on this one. I don't know whether I'm going to fit one or not um, because I want to try and keep this as my lightweight tripod. So if I'm climbing hills, I'm going up mountains and stuff like that, uh, this is the one I'm going to be taking with me. If I'm going for long walks and things, I'll probably take this one. If I know I'm going to be close to the van or somewhere, you know, rugged, really Really high winds and and blizzard and sort of you know the hurricane conditions then that's the one to take with me because I can bed it in the same as getting if you're going to the sea or the beach and stuff you can bed that into the ground and you still got plenty of height so that's that's my three options it's just it makes it hard if you've got three tripods but because I've got those three options I can carry those options this is a cracking little tripod if you want something to walk around and do some street photography a little bit of city walking if you want to go backpacking and you just want a tripod to do some vlogging or put a little try you know I mean I can put my I could put the XT5 on there and I, I wouldn't trust it this one I could walk away and I'd leave it there I wouldn't have a problem same with this one this one I'd think about this one I definitely wouldn't okay so I wouldn't do but this is great you twist it and you can have the legs just pulled out one twist and you can have as far as you want you literally just pull it out as far as you want and twist it so it's a very very quick 
Very, very easy, very, very lightweight tripod. And again, it has that center column, so you can raise it up pretty high um, and get it quite high up in the air if you really wanted it to. Again, I use this for my vlogging. Um, I use it for doing some videos. I put the little M50 that's on there, and it's really handy little tripod to have. If you're doing a bit of backpacking and walking, again, you can flip this out and turn it around upside down. If you don't want this center column, it comes with a little stumpy column. You just basically unscrew that bit and just leave the little stumpy bit in there. So I think that's a really quick and easy way of using a tripod, and uh, I use that a lot. This other one you've probably seen me use, or you probably haven't seen me use, but you've seen the legs sticking out of my camera bag. I walk around when I'm doing my videos and you'll see these legs sticking out all the time. Inside those legs is this little baby tripod. This is the T16C20N2. Now, Sunway Photo have given me two of these to give away for Christmas. So if you're watching this video leading up to the 2022 Christmas um, giveaway, 25th of December, 10 o'clock, Get your name down and you'll get yourself one of these if you're one of the lucky ones to, to win it. We, you know, we do a random selection on people that want them. So we have got two of these from Sunway Photo, really good of them to give me those. Uh, I've modified this one with a head on it uh, to, to carry, carry my vlogging camera. So it's got this little mini tripod. Again, the legs work on it. If you want a little tabletop tripod, it's really, really good. And it even comes out and extends. And you can take these feet out and put spikes in if you want as well. So it does everything for a little baby tripod. I just think they're so cute, so sweet. And it's really handy for doing me vlogging. I can put the camera down anyway. When it comes to heads, uh, heads are a choice for different people. We have, uh, like I say, I use the GH Pro. They do two different versions of the GH Pro. This is the more expensive version. It's got a, a panoramic top to it. They also do one without the panoramic top to it, which is basically these two. Uh, I've taken them off and I've put a quick release clamp on the top so that I can just clip my camera around from uh, vertical to horizontal without having to think about it. Whereas this one, you've you still got the screw thread on the side. I will be probably changing this one to do the same but if I do put this one on the big tripod, maybe I'll leave it big and heavy, um, I don't know. But the GH Pro really, really nice to do the two versions. The original GH Pro standard is this one. Uh, this is actually for sale at the moment. Um, I don't use this, it's been in its box for a little while. Um, I don't have a reason to use it. Um, I wanted to have a look and do a review on it and show you. I, I really like the idea that you can undo this and you've got this really quick action. Uh, I love that idea, I think that's a brilliant idea. You can go from left to right, uh, very, very quickly, very, very easily. And you can tilt this around and get it to work very, very fast. Or you can use the very slow gears as well. So this is a really, really good, very, very well made, very, very good, interestingly thought out. And it has the pano top on it again as well. So you can actually spin that round as a separate pano top as well as the pano bottom. Uh, so yeah, really, really good head. That is actually for sale on my uh, Facebook at the moment. So if you're interested, give us a shout and I'll do you a really spectacular deal on it um, because it's just not in use anymore. I also have a ball head. If you're into ball heads, I got the ball head to go on this small lightweight tripod. Uh, just so happens that when this ball head turned up, it's nearly as heavy, <laughs> it's nearly as heavy as the geared head. Um, so there's not a lot of difference in it. So if I haven't got a choice, uh, I go with a geared head because that's the way I work and that's the way I like to work. Uh, again, I put the, this has got the Sunway Photo quick release top on it. Uh, very, very quick and easy to use. It has a double, um, a double drop down, so you can drop it down in two different positions, which me, is pretty handy for uh, maneuvering the camera around. Um, it's really, really nice. This is the XB44. It's a very, very, very nice ball head. It's just not quite my cup of tea um, for what I use all the time, but it's really handy to keep because there might be occasions where I need to use a ball head over the geared head for speed or stuff like that, um, and then, then that'll be the one. Also, I've also got the uh, Sunway Photo uh, leveling base as well that's attached to that at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's my three heads that I've got there to show you. There's my little set of tripods. Hope that was interesting. Hope you, if you're gonna buy yourself a tripod, treat yourself. These are really, I do recommend them highly. I think, you know, I think they're really, really good and they are withstanding the test of time as I use them and go on. Uh, there is a website you can go on and buy them direct, or if you can't get through their website, contact me directly and I can pass you on to the UK supplier. He is in London and he supplied several people that have contacted me and they've all been very, very happy and are pleased with their purchases. Uh, I'll also put some links down in the description below. Uh, there'll probably be affiliated links, not that I get a lot from it, but at least it helps. So yeah, thanks for watching, ciao for now. Uh, if this is before Christmas, have a good one. And if it's not before Christmas and you're just looking at tripods, have a good one anyway. Bye-bye.